So a math test today was like, oh, that's a whole other thing. As a parent, it's hard watching your child go through it. You're always wondering, what can I do? <laughs> They'd all just tease her. They'd just make fun of her, and she'd be telling them to stop. She got to a point where she was cutting every day. It's a day you want to forget, but a day that you won't forget. Morgan was the youngest of five. She was a peacekeeper. She loved music, she loved art. Morgan was my best friend more than a sister. We all know that twins have that connection that nobody can understand or explain, but yet it's fascinating to watch. We knew she was having issues even when she was in grade school. She was picked on because she was so tiny. <laughs> They'd come up to her and call her names, and she'd run away crying. She'd get home, check her Facebook, and certain people would tell her that you're ugly, go cut yourself, or go kill yourself. We looked all through her social media, we looked through her phone, and we found a lot of messages that were just outright nasty, and things that you wouldn't typically see a 12 and a 13 year old saying to somebody else. With Morgan, the bullying really started wearing her down. She became very withdrawn, very depressed. She started starving herself and self-harming. I woke up through the middle of the night with her crying and um, her in the bathroom vomiting. The school did know. They were aware of Morgan being bullied. There wasn't supports for Morgan when Morgan was going through it. I remember waking up and um, getting dressed with her, doing her makeup. We were laughing and singing and dancing. We were just like, finally, school is out. We all had appointments that day. After the first round of appointments, she just got out of the truck and decided she was going to stay home. I had like this worst, sickening feeling inside me. We come home about 6.30. Door was locked to the bedroom. We could hear music, but you know she wouldn't answer the door. Your head kind of swims when you think back to that day. I felt it. I felt half of me leave. So I was like, I know she's gone. Morgan died on June 27th, uh, 2014. Life would never be easy. It wouldn't be the same. Life was going to be so hard without her. After Morgan had died, I um, had a drug use in my life and I had started self-harming. Everything's a battle now. It's a battle to wake up, it's a battle to get out of bed. Losing Morgan's probably impacted Bailey more than any of us. She's not the same Bailey she was. After I had done the drug use and cutting, I knew it was gonna get me nowhere in life. So I knew I needed to stop and get help. So. When we made Morgan's Mission, it helped me a lot. Words of hope, no matter how dark the world is, shine as bright as you can. I think a lot of people should live by that. Morgan's Mission is a campaign we made after we had lost her. We would like to end the stigma of bullying and mental health. We are hoping to prevent suicides from around the world. We do want to see change happen as far as legislation as far as you know how the community is viewing bullying suicide prevention is big for bailey it's personal to her she's battled her own thoughts since losing morgan she's done videos on youtube in regards to you know her thoughts on suicide and mental health but suicide is not the answer she uses dance as a form of therapy and her next big feat will be miss teenage canada and preliminaries for an for Alberta here in February or March, and that's her platform. On behalf of the City of Fort Saskatchewan, proclaim October 10th, 2015, as World Mental Health Day in the City of Fort Saskatchewan. Let's all do our part and bring about the awareness that's so required. Being there for the Mental Health Awareness Day was very important to me. I felt honored to be there. We made a day 
called Purple Day, and that's where we would all wear purple to support Morgan's mission and remember her. To actually watch Bailey get out of bed every day is, I'm proud enough with that. And to watch her stand up for people, I don't even know if proud is the right word or even strong enough. I feel like Morgan is very proud of what I've done. Parents need to really watch. You know, if you're even thinking that something is wrong or not right, you know, don't ignore that. I'd like to let other kids know that suicide is never the answer. It will only pass the pain on to everyone else that loved you. You are not alone, you can get help.